Morning guys, I just spent the last hour or so messing around with my Yao Meraki truck system and I wanted to show you guys the process of that whole nightmare. Anyway, it boils down to a poor rear kingpin design on the Meraki system that will leave you forced to either buy a new set of trucks from Meraki or figure out uh, what truck you could use to replace it so that the hanger height and um, and hanger width isn't compromised or messes with the system's specifications. So anyway, I've been playing with that and I wanted to show you guys a process. Viewer discretion is advised because I do curse a little bit because, well, once you see what I'm dealing with, you'll understand why there's an F-bomb or two. It's pretty annoying and frustrating. So I'm going to try to go down to the skate shop today and see if I can find something that will suffice for now. Anyways, aloha. I went down to the rink this morning to skate and I thought I had a broken front spring on my Milwaukee, but it turns out I have a broken kingpin. This is broke. I don't know how my kingpin broke. I don't do any serious errors on this thing, so the kingpin should be good. But there's a couple problems with yeah. Look at this kingpin. It's not locked in. It's a circle on the bottom. So it doesn't lock into anything, so I don't even know how it tightens. I'm going to see how I can get it out of there. Because how can I unscrew it if there's nothing holding it in place there? This just spins and spins. And then the other thing I don't like is the Yao hardware. It uses a hex. A hex uh, Allen, I guess you'd call it. I don't know what it's called. But it's a T20 hex Allen. And their hardware rusts too, so it's not stainless. That's annoying. So maybe I'll try to go find some... Hardware of equal length or tiny bit shorter because these are long. Something stainless and without the hex. T20 and see if I can get a kingpin in there. I hope this kingpin... So this broken Yao kingpin won't come out. I can't get it to unscrew. Try to hammer it, try to bang on it, try to bend it. It won't come out. It's broken. Spins. Won't come out because of this poor design. So now I'm literally taking a hacksaw and trying to saw through down here. You can see my saw marks on the base plate there. I got to get through this kingpin so I can change it. Otherwise, basically I have to buy new Yao trucks. Just for a rear truck, I guess I could throw like an ind independent on here or something, but fuck, super annoying. It's a negative point for Yao. Poor design. Fuck your kingpins, Yao. They suck. And I'm pissed that I have to freaking saw through this. And there we have it. I had to saw through that fucker. And then I whacked it with a hammer, got it to break. See how much damage I did to the base plate. It's a little shaved. Hopefully it doesn't affect the, the riding. Maybe I can sand it a little bit. I don't know. What a shame, man. These fuckers have such poor design on all their products. I'm not talking just Yao specifically, Carver, Smooth Star. All this R&D and they charge you a shit ton of money and they can't even get fucking kingpins right? Give me a break. Hilarious, it only gets worse, look it. So those grooves are what lock the circular kingpin into place so they can't spin. But they're also sort of welded in and I'm trying to hammer the old shitty kingpin through and it may not have even been my kingpin because I don't see where it's broken but it was spinning freely so that doesn't make sense especially if this is locking it in place and that wasn't spinning, but the kingpin was. So some, I don't know where it was broke, but maybe it's just this little, this little um, hanger cup that was worn out and giving me all the play. So, but either way, I'm forced to change the kingpin. I don't even know if it's gonna work. If I put a regular kingpin in, it's just gonna spin because it's gonna have nothing to lock into. So I might be SOL. I might have to get a whole new system just because Yao fucking sucks with their kingpin design. They fucked up on one thing on their whole system is the kingpin. Are you freaking serious, guys? Are you serious? It wasn't skatable because I wasn't going to be able to remove it. I wasn't able to unscrew this. So even if I could replace the hanger cup, you couldn't get the kingpin. You couldn't get the, the nut to come off because the kingpin was free spinning. Freaking ridiculous. I can tell you this is a real son of a bitch. That's how their kingpin is held in. And I don't know if that's because Venture or Indy or Thunder holds some sort of patent for a regular fucking kingpin. Pardon my French. I'm pissed because I just had to spend, I don't know, a good hour sawing. I had to saw through the kingpin on two separate occasions because after I got it to break loose so I could get the, the bushing off, the kingpin was stuck in there because of those teeth. So I had to saw through it again and bang it with a hammer. What a waste of my time. You know, Yao, it's such, such a disappointment. You know, why did you have to redesign a base plate? It doesn't make sense. There's already a freaking design. I can't believe there's a patent on it that hasn't expired by this point. Use a regular freaking fitting. I mean, I don't get it. I don't get it, but super annoyed and bummed. I may just have to put a regular truck on here. I'm gonna go down to the skate shop because even if I get a kingpin, 
what's gonna hold it in place? It's just gonna spin freely in there. So how would my truck ever stay tight? And even if I replace this bush, this, um, what do you call this, the hanger uh, cup, nothing's gonna keep the truck tight because the kingpin's bullshit. So what's up with that, y'all? Fucking disappointed, man, seriously. Anyway, I don't know. I'm not sure what to do. I don't know how high this truck sits, so. It's a real disappointment because it runs good as a system, and obviously they have their spacers set so that the board runs properly. So if I get a truck where the hanger's higher or lower, then the spacer is going to be incorrect. So they almost set you up. You know, it's like, what do I do? What an annoyance. You know, it's not like Rocky truck systems are cheap. Anyway, sorry guys, I'm freaking just annoyed. 45 minutes, 50 minutes, hour of my life on this bullshit, just trying to get a fucking thing came out. And again, pardon my language, I'm just annoyed as shit.